Welcome to our new tutorial how to configure RESTful communication with your PC router. REST communication always starts with configuring the REST plugins. There we have two tabs. The first one is the REST connections tab where we can communicate to foreign REST APIs like Open Weather API and the REST APIs where we can configure and REST interface to a PC router itself. Let's start configuring a REST communication to the Open Weather example. We give it a name, we configure the host URL, this is the fixed pre part. We can insert the information to an open API file. We can use authentication to secure communication, just select one, insert some HTTP header if necessary. We can use certificates. We can directly create a new one or select an existing one. After saving with OK, we can go to the Connections tab and structure our communication with some folders called REST, for example, and create a new connection to get the weather data. Now let's design the connection. Starting with the REST transfer object, double click and select the connection. Be prepared. The endpoint can be inserted directly. You can already use some parameters that are used as URL parameters. The method is get and the format is JSON in our example here. The URL segment parameters are already inserted. We insert some additional query string parameters. We could also use other types. You could use default values. And we can test it inserting some values. Send it and copy the result. Close, don't save here. We haven't made changes. We got the response body as JSON structure, so we use JSON retransfer object, double click, and use edit button to insert our response. And we have all parameters available. Just at the expression, you see we get JSON expression and name. The name will be shown here and we can connect the JSON response body with the JSON document parameter. And if we have arrays, we also can use all elements as a result. So we use the placeholder star and of course we can change the name because it's just a name, not the expression. Now let's save the parameter to a database table with a database transfer object. Select the database, type is insert and the table is the weather data table. We just double click to insert the columns we want to use. OK. And connect the weather parameters with the corresponding columns in the table. In our example, we always have the same value for country and city for rest and database transfer object. So we use constant value as source for it. We have Schenefeld and Germany and the unit is metric. And of course, we insert the app ID. To save it, just click on OK and connect the constant values with the request parameters of the REST transfer object. Of course, we also connect it with the corresponding table columns. And the timestamp will be used with a variable that is predefined in OPC router. Just select system time UTC. As trigger, we use a fixed time trigger so that, so that we can send the data every five seconds. Now we change to setting connection productive, check this and start setting productive. We go to the status tab and see the connection values running. Now move to your SQL data client, execute your query and see the data coming into the data table. But how make OPC router as a REST API interface? Just go back to the plugins part, use the REST APIs, insert a new one, give it a name and a free port, use a root prefix, we use errors as answers, you use basic authentication here with a username, and the OpenAPI provide data can give us some testing environment. If you now set the whole service productive to make the plugin available, we wait for the server starters to get ready. Use our link 
for the open up UI, you must insert the username and password that you have configured before. And you see the interface now. You can uh, use the data JSON to see the structure, but you have no operation specified. We can do that at the connections tab, just insert a new connection like get product data. The design starts with building the method construct in form of a REST trigger. There we just select the corresponding API plugin, we insert the endpoint for it, select the corresponding methods, in this case just the get method, and we can insert some request parameters like production line and product order number where we want to get some information from. The data come from a table so we use the database transfer object, just double click, select database and select type, select the production orders table with the corresponding columns we want to read out and filter according to the production line and the production order number. Save with OK and connect the incoming REST parameters with the filter parameter of the database. Keeping in mind we built a REST method with JSON, we use the JSON write transfer object to create the JSON structure. We now use the parameters directly, inserting them here without creating the REST structure. If you want to create it on your own, you can use the edit button like we did in the other example. But we just insert the corresponding parameters here and then insert them to the data fields with the JSON expression and the data field name. So you can rename the parameters, not the expression, OK, and connect the corresponding database fields with the JSON write transfer objects. And the line and the PO number, of course, comes directly from the REST parameters and the JSON response will be connected to the response body. Again, go to the Setting Connections tab, check and set Productive. If you change something, you must restart. Go to the Status tab, wait for being initialized. Then you can go back to the Swagger UI, just reload the page. And you have the Get method here for Get Production Data. Just test with the corresponding line and PO number, execute. And you have the Request URL and the response body that is used. In the background we see the data transfer status of OPC router.